Hey everybody, happy Monday, leg day. Before we get started, a couple announcements. Um, Jenny and I get back home this week and we're looking to start uh, doing some uh, outdoor activities. Uh, Quincy officials are gonna be allowing us to be uh, meeting in small groups outdoors and um, to start uh, yeah, doing some group classes again, which is really, really exciting. Additionally, we sent out a survey. Thank you for responding to that. Uh, uh, the most common thing that we got in there were that the workouts were either too hard or too easy. Um, if they're too easy, work harder, uh, add more weight, uh, scale up. You guys are all capable of doing this. You've been going uh, to our gym and being instructed by us and you should feel very confident and comfortable being able to design uh, the workout uh, for your needs based off of what we've already provided. If the workouts are too hard, you need to scale. Um, so if it's uh, a weighted squat, do an air squat. Uh, if, it's, uh, if it's a lunge, do a step up. Um, cut the reps in half. But uh, you guys should all be equipped with the knowledge that you need to be able to make the workout suit your needs. Um, it, the program is always and has been just a skeleton program. Um, that we want you guys to be able to um, choose things again that suit your needs. So whether we are in the gym or you guys are at home doing these workouts, nothing has changed. Um, so if they're too easy, go a little harder, add some more weight. If they're too hard, scale and slow it down. Uh, there's a time cap on everything. Um, so just slow it down a little bit and um, it'll be a little easier. Uh, cool, let's get into things. For your warm up, starting with 50 plate jumps. If you don't have a plate, you can just do line hops and you can go any direction. If you wanna go side to side on your plate, if you wanna go side to side on a line, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, 50 plate jumps. After your plate jumps, you have mountain climbers. 50 of those. After your mountain climbers, you have alternating leg raises. If you want to do 25 and then 25, or if you want to alternate each one, you can do that. Legs stay down, or one leg stays down, you're going to reach up, reach up. Or if you want to just stay on one side, you can do that as well. Um, hip circles. Laying on your side, you're just going to make big circles. With this, we're gonna do 50 per side. I want you to do 20 forward, 20 backward. Um, so it will be 100 total reps on the uh, hip circles. And then you have a skater or uh, a banded monster walk. So if you wanna put the band on your feet um, and just do Monster walks, and if you don't have a band, you can just do skaters. Cool. Um, for our strength today, split squats, or if you want to accumulate 50 squats with a sandbag or any weighted implement. Um, so if, uh, yeah, if you want to add weight and make it harder, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, if you want to just keep the split squats um, empty and add no weight, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Uh, I don't really have anything to put my foot on. There we go. So, with our split squats, we want to make sure, well, in everything for that matter, uh, we're pulling that belly button up and back. You're about two and a half to three paces away. Pull that belly button up and back. If you want to hold an implement in a front rack, uh, in a farmer's hold, you could go overhead. Um, whatever, yeah, whatever kind of suits you. Nice control on the way down, speed on the way up. We're doing three sets of eight per side. Um, for the workout, you're going to be starting off with a 800 meter run. 
if you want to scale the run, you can do a three minute jog, a three minute power walk. Um, you could do jump rope, but you're going to be doing it for about three minutes. Um, and then I would like for you to repeat those efforts if you're scaling. So if you power walk uh, 200 meters on your first round, I would like for you to repeat that for rounds two, three, and four. Uh, okay. Ooh, fun one here. Single arm dumbbell burpee and uh, dumbbell lunge. Uh, you can hold your dumbbell in the lunge however you want, front rack, shoulder, back, side, again, whatever you kind of prefer. If you want to add weight and go a little heavier, feel free to do that as well. For your dumbbell burpee, I would recommend that you just do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. So normal burpee, but you're gonna have dumbbell in the hand. Stand up. Cool, I think you get it there. So 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and then you're gonna go into your lunges. Hold here, hold here, here, here. Do some overhead. Um, but if you're doing anything on the left and left or right, make sure you do it on the left and right. So if you do an overhead walking lunge on your right, uh, make sure you balance it out and do the same thing on your left side as well. Cool. Four rounds of that for time. After you guys finish your workout, your cash out is uh, glute bridge and dumbbell get ups. I really like these dumbbell get ups. Your uh, glute bridge, everybody knows that. Just laying on your back. If you want to elevate your feet and put them up on something, I really like that for the hamstring too. Um, but just normal glute bridges will be suffice. And then your dumbbell get up, just like a Turkish get up, up onto the elbow. Uh, or if you want, you can go up onto the hand. You have a hundred reps of both of these. Uh, you can break them up as needed. If you want to just do a hundred glute bridges uh, and then do a hundred of these uh, Turkish get up uh, crunches, 50 on each side, you can do that too. Uh, or if you just want to do 10 rounds of 10, you could do that as well. I love you guys. I cannot wait to start seeing you. Uh, hopefully uh, everything goes as planned for getting back uh, into some group classes this week into the park. And um, yeah, love you. See ya.